Hey guys and welcome to a guide to the all new foreshadowing mini quest. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. To start this quest, go to the Varog Lodestone and speak to Rolomia inside the Blue Moon Inn. Once you get the dialogue to accept the quest, accept the quest. After that, go ahead and click on the table and grab yourself a drink and a hat. After you've done that, drink the drink and put on the hat. Which, by the way, looks a little ridiculous. You will then have to answer different questions consisting of the Vampire Slayer, Dragon Slayer, and Demon Slayer quests. I don't know if they're in the exact same order every time, but here are the correct answers. At least, these ones worked for me. Now, I will skip this part of the footage because it's simply answering a bunch of questions and reading the dialogue. After that, she will knock you out and steal your identity. <laughs> After that, you'll be in Death's office. Just please read the dialogue, do yourself a favor, and have some fun because this quest or this mini quest is actually hilarious. After the conversation is finished, head through the eastern door. After that, you'll want to go through the dialogue with Elvarg, the dragon, the demon, and with the vampire. Now, the only conversation you want to worry about reading if you really don't want to read the dialogue is the one with the demon as you'll need to repeat his words. And this could be different for every single player, I am not sure. As for the word order I got, it was the following. Arlem, Eber, Kimiritham, Perche, and Gabindo. After this, the demon should disappear from the waiting line. For the vampire, you will want to go ahead and check the range inside Draenor Manor, which is relatively simple. You simply go inside and head west in the building. And if you'd like, you could always bully someone else about their new party hat. For Elvarg, aka the dragon, go to the Grand Exchange in Varog and talk to one of the bankers. Then head back to the Draenor Lodestone, go inside Death's Hourglass, and go back through the eastern door. You then want to talk to the vampire and Elvark to make them leave the waiting line. You can then speak to Closure. Go through the conversation until he gives you the contract. It's a long conversation and you might want to read it if you're interested in the quest. After that you want to teleport to the Varog Lotus and as you're going to head back to Rolomia's party. Once you're here, you want to talk to her as if she's stolen your identity by talking to her using your own character's name. So, hello, insert your character's name here, then I'm your biggest fan, and then can I get your autograph to get her to sign the contract. And I have good news for you, this time she won't actually beat you and instead teleport away. Once she's teleported away, go back to closure inside Death's office and that should be the end of the mini quest. You are most welcome. That hat looks stupid. And you know it. You didn't peek inside, did you? I did not. That would have been rude. Right. But chopping off my head wasn't. It's raw, Melissa! 